Namaste. We're gonna do some acro yoga. We're gonna have some fun. It's called folded leaf. It feels fabulous. Um, so I'm gonna lay on my back. And it's helpful if my hamstrings are not super, super, super tight. That's the back of my legs. So ultimately I wanna be able to get my, my ankles up over my hips with not too much strain. Um, and my friend Julie, Julie E, with Healthy Simple Solutions, we're gonna turn my, my feet out and put them right on her hip where her thighs meet her hips, her pelvis. Um, my arms are gonna be straight up. Again, I'm cupping my hands and she's the flyer, I'm the base. So my fingers are facing out, flyer's fingers go forward and we're gonna, she's gonna lean into me. So we wanna keep our arms straight just to make sure my legs, our legs can figure it out. And then once we've got this kind of steady, sturdy base, she's gonna lean her hips into me and I'm just gonna straighten my legs. So we're not holding on. She's trusting me quite well here. We've done this once or twice. <laughs> Let your upper body hang. So she's gonna widen her feet gently. We're always moving slowly when we're up there so we don't knock ourselves over. And she's just allowing her feet to drop towards the floor. Again, she's trying to let go, right? If she's gripping and holding, it's gonna make it a lot harder for me. And we're gonna both feel that. I can just rest my arms to the side. And it's really just a game of balance, right? So if I have my ankles over my hips, it's just kind of holding that balancing point, right? And it, should, it feels like a hamstring stretch for me. It feels like a whole spinal traction release for her usually. And again, at any point in time, if she needs to come down, I'll show you how to do that now that I'm gonna let her stay here a little longer. <laughs> right, I can give her a little love. I can give her a little shoulder massage, maybe lengthen her spine a little bit. I can do subtle small movements with my feet, like rolling my heels in and out. That's just gonna move her hip sockets. I can do tiny, tiny, tiny kind of pointing and flexing of my feet. And she can let me know if something feels better or worse. How you doing? <laughs> Good. We'll just stay here for a while. Yeah. Should feel fabulous. Right? If it doesn't feel fabulous, then you talk about it, you adjust it, you do something different, you try it again. I think the hardest part when you first start this is, is the release, the letting go. Can I just do stretch? You could do whatever you want. You want to stretch? You want to do like arm stretch? Yeah. Right, and when you're new, you might have to come down after a few breaths and kind of build up your strength and your trust. <laughs> I'm going to get out. I'm going to give her that C shape again. She's going to find my hands. And as I push up with my hands, I'm going to bend my knees, put her feet flat. Let's have you go into a forward fold. So just straighten your legs. And we'll let her fold forward. Sometimes bringing the head up too quickly will make you a little dizzy. So she's just going to hang there. Her knees can bend. And then when she's ready, she can slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Ah, how you doing, Julie? <laughs> Excellent. Yay! And then you say thank you to your partner. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.